Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, let's get down to business. My channel didn't grow all of 2023. In fact, it stopped growing since I moved to Canada in 2019. And that was three years ago. It's funny because the only video that's actually doing well since I came to Canada is the one talking about me coming to Canada. I tried vlogs, I tried try on hauls, I tried reaction videos, story times, and my number one, which is the main focus of my channel before I came to Canada, makeup. I wanted to be a top makeup YouTuber. That was my aspiration in life, but I was in the Philippines during this time and things were a little different. Now, when I was in the Philippines, I couldn't really afford certain things and it was more difficult to get a hold of certain releases. When I would order, say, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, it wouldn't come until like a month and by the time I review it nobody really cares but I still came up with videos every week sometimes twice a week on top of my already stressful job as a chemist working maybe 14 hours a day because number one we were understaffed and number two I needed the money especially if I were to buy things that would fund my makeup channel and to be honest I was really consistent because I loved it I had a crappy camera I didn't have lights I had a crappy audio system I even had a crappy lens that had autofocus but it wasn't silent so you could hear it going and I would literally read comments about how noisy it was but I didn't care because I loved it now I'm in Canada I moved here around three years ago and quite frankly, I'm doing better for myself than I was. I have a nice camera. I have some lights. They're not the best, but they get the job done. I have a ring light, which is not mine. It's my sister's, but still. And I have this, the Blue Yeti. Well, it's not mine. I borrowed it from my partner, but still. I have all of the resources that I need to create a better channel for myself, but I don't know why I'm not being consistent. Is it a fear of success, maybe? I decided to reflect on my 2023 and figure figure out what was going on with me. Why am I not consistent despite having all of the things I aspired to have when I was in the Philippines but couldn't afford? And it's funny because every new year, it starts off exactly this way. I would find the drive to be all, we're gonna make a channel, we're gonna be consistent, yes, 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 all these goals, all these dreams. I noticed that was my pattern. I would always get hyped up in the new year, but then after spring, things go downhill. Or is it uphill? <laughs> so enough of that long ass <laughs> intro. This video is about the things I regretted doing in 2023 that I wanna change moving forward to 2024. You can call this a new year resolution, but quite frankly, I'm kind of terrified to say it's a resolution because you know what happens to resolutions. I have a resolution, but I never follow through. <laughs> Well, hopefully things are gonna change and this video will hold me accountable. So number one, and this isn't in any order, slacking off going to the gym, even if there wasn't a good excuse. In late 2022, I switched jobs and my job now is so much more relaxing and it gives me more time to go home on time, which I've never really experienced in a job before. It was always so hectic or I'd always have multiple jobs, but this time, it's more stable. That gave me the pathway to subscribe to a gym. And I was really consistent for the first couple months because I had that energy, I had that drive, like, yes, this time I'm not gonna slack off. This time I'm gonna be consistent and I'm gonna reach for my dreams. I'm gonna wear that dress, blah, 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 blah. Fast forward, I gained 10 pounds. I went from a 57 to a 69. So you know who wasn't going to the gym then? I'm always at, yes, let's be consistent, let's push ourselves, and then I get sick, or I get my period, and I just stop going to the gym forever. I make so many excuses to myself, telling myself that I have to listen to my body, oh, my body's having a period right now, so she does not want to go to the gym, so I'm not doing it. And I just wake up three months later realizing I don't even know where my gym is anymore. <laughs> Number two not learning about boundaries earlier on. So boundaries was something I had never even understood before. When it came to relationships, be it with your family, be it with your partner, be it with your sister, your cat. I only learned about this concept called boundaries when I was in a difficult situation that made me try to research about my experiences, what's happening, how do I deal with this, and also talking to a therapist. Learning about boundaries is so different from actually applying them. How long was I talking with that in my teeth? Oh. <laughs> Number three, fearing meditation. So my sister's always like, you wanna relax, let's meditate. And I always cringe like crazy. I'm like, ugh, ugh. It just wouldn't work for me because I felt cringy. I felt like in my mind, I can do it myself. 
I can figure out my problems myself. I did not need meditation. But boy, was I wrong. Only in the later part of 2023 did I open my mind to meditation. I found all these people talking about manifestation, meditation, mind setting, goal setting, intentional meditation, intentional setting, everything. And I'm drawn to it. Number four, not be consistent with my YouTube channel. I have done this for years and I have seen people in this industry, in the makeup world, be consistent, be engaging, but not grow as fast as they would want to. And I just looked to myself and I realized that's who I was. I wasn't growing. I wasn't succeeding with my YouTube channel and it just discouraged me. I burned out from working so hard. When I got to Canada, I was introduced to this life that was relaxing and this buying power that I never had before and I found a box that I could just squeeze myself in and enjoy for a little while but now it's time to put in the work again number five being so affected by how other people think of me or perceive me now this is so hard to get over I have been overthinking like crazy all my life maybe and it's gotten me to a place of insecurity and frustration and low confidence because I'm always wondering oh no if I do this if I say this what would they think how would they react will they still like me and it's so hard to get to a point in your life that you just don't care and you let go of people who don't really serve you or who don't have your best interests at heart. Also related to this is taking things too personally. I would be so obsessed with working so hard and doing everything right that when I make one mistake, I am so hard on myself. And when my supervisor or my manager comes and talks to me about it, I start crying and I take whatever criticism I get from my superiors to heart and I just couldn't function for the whole day. And I realized I am not doing it properly. I am taking criticism and being so affected by it negatively instead of being productive and trying to learn from it. So whenever something irritated me, I would literally do this detach and it works. Whenever I would see the person I really, really, really don't like, detach and it would literally work. Like I felt like I was literally detaching energies and clearing my mind of whatever emotion I was feeling. Number six, this is a good one, being jealous of other people's success. I have to say I am still a victim of this. I see my friends succeeding left and right and I always feel sorry for myself. I'm happy for them. Like generally, I feel happy for them. But what happens is my mind immediately compares their success to where I am now and says, see Sahar, you're not good enough. See Sahar, she's better than you because she's this and you're not this. And that's one thing I'm trying to sort out with my life right now. I know I'm genuinely happy for the success of other people, but how do I handle that when it comes to me? How do I handle being triggered by all of this and feeling at peace with myself? One of the things that I did was I went on social media and I did a little purge. So I was unfollowing a bunch of influencers that I literally really loved. But instead of sending them hate and projecting, I just unfollowed them. To be honest, going on my social media is not as toxic anymore because of that purge. Number seven, I kind of got dropped out of school. <laughs> so I have this high school bridge program. Education in the Philippines is not equivalent to education in other countries such as Canada. And if you're working in a certain job that requires you to have a level of education that is equivalent to the country you're working in, it's going to be difficult. My educational assessment resulted in me lacking one year of high school. Right now, the high school bridge program is really, really frustrating to me because I don't want to take literature again. I don't want to read no shape. Spear. I don't want to take algebra and geometry and all that. I don't want to do that again. I've done my time, okay? I graduated on time. I did it. I'm done. Why do I have to go through this again? And so in the beginning part of 2023, that was always in my mind. And I was just really frustrated and I would never want to do the work. In my mind, I'm just shut down with all these feelings of inadequacy. And so what happened was I stopped doing the work. Okay, number eight is a really sad one. I actually tried launching my own small business, which failed almost immediately. 
I love thinking about small businesses and DIY. I've always been that kind of thinker ever since I was a kid. I did launch a business earlier this year. I was making scrunchies and I literally came home every day and started making scrunchies. I still have a bunch of scrunchies down here. I even thought of this concept where I have this bulb and then there's two scrunchies. So there's two colors and then a bow and you put this on your tree. And I was so excited. I was so freaking excited to launch my small scrunchie business. And then when it was time to launch, my account on Etsy got suspended for some reason. I emailed them asking why and they were like, oops, that was, on, that was a problem. Sorry, it was, that was on us. Sorry, we're not, you're not supposed to be suspended. Here's your account back. But the damage was done. Every single time a person clicked that link, they would be led to a page that was suspended. And of course, that's not great for your first launch, was it? And and because of that, I stopped. Finally, not taking as many adventures this year. So in the Philippines, I would always go on a yearly trip somewhere that involves islands and beaches and water. And oh, that was basically my life. I would save up. I would go to a trip with some friends. I even went to Taiwan with a friend. And that was the most amazing trip ever. And ever since I moved to Canada, I find myself realizing that I don't really take as many trips anymore and it's just sad because i wish i could go on more trips but i have some debts to pay i have some bills to pay there's just not a lot of wiggle room there for me to travel as much as i want so there you have it everyone i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i kind of related with your experiences to some level i am going to make another video about the things i did right in 2023 please like subscribe and ding that notification bell to be informed when i upload and comment down below any tips and tricks for the coming new year bye